Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and I do have here one book I started I think two years ago and it was sitting <laughs> in my drawers for a very long time. So I'm trying to pull out those old projects and kind of finish them and this one, it's one of them. It is like thick, it's already sold. I put the listing on my Etsy. Uh, with the view I, I will put the listing on my Etsy and then I will do video and put the link for that journal it was sold before I made this this video so thank you so so much <laughs> I hope new owner will like it uh, it's like very thick and uh, it has so many pockets it has laces uh, I started to do this journal because I wanted to use my laces it has really many pockets. It has few things uh, I hope new owner will like. Like this one belongs to old uh, necklace. It make, it's made from three uh, kind of like layers. Sorry for my hands. I've been coloring grungy style. So my hands are a little bit dirty. Uh, so this one belongs to another two. Here is third one. This is last one. So between... Ah, here is middle one so when this one is unlocked you can pull it out and you will have beautiful chain a beautiful necklace uh, made from three layers in a nature style in in that you know boho boho kind of nature style so it, it does this one then it's another one necklace uh, wrapped around it makes beautiful decoration in that journal but it's also usable as a necklace. Where is it? Yeah, here, this one. And there is there so many laces, envelopes and pockets. My, <coughs> I add there those decorative uh, pockets uh, with which I made not long time ago when I was watching uh, Margaret Miller uh, channel and her advices for how to start collages and stuff like that. She's amazing. I love her channel. I love her art. She's beautiful, really amazing artist. So we do have uh, kind of like pocket here, large pocket here. Another pocket, it's here from the top. Another pocket is actually here and I forgot to add there something. I should add there something. So this book is kind of opening itself <laughs> because it's totally loaded. I've got here many beautiful laces my mom gave me. They are very vintage. They are from my grandma. So I'm guessing they are 70, 80 years old, those laces. I've got here also die cuts of Tim Holtz, uh, Tim Holtz flowers. So a new owner can enjoy that. Uh, I stick them uh, here just with masking tape so they can be take off, colored and put ba back. You know, I try to color them here on the cover to make some kind of embellishment. Here we've got another one. Also, it can be taken off. And there is a pocket with a tuck. And it's just took off itself. So I'm going to place it back. Go back, go back. Come on, go there, go there, go there. Come here. See? It can be very easily taken off from that page. These I just glued down. They are <clears throat> for, on the flap from my from the envelope I created from book pages. Here is another decorative pocket I made not long time ago. and beautiful lace and this project I started it's really a long time ago it's maybe more than two years uh, it was at the same time uh, when I made the journal like that uh, flip 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 I know Amity Bloom has that journal she bought it from from my uh, Etsy uh, it was with that Parisian style where I started to use uh, my mails so I kind of you know scrap the mails these forms which are coming all the time and here in this bag is the rest of these die cuts so there is a bunch of these flowers there are also uh, christmas leaves and stuff like that so they can be colored there is many pages which can be used for writing 
there are openings like this and small mini notebooks like this stacked here in this pocket and then pockets here so lots of stuff can be at there i did stitched a lot here in this journal and there is really lots of space for writing in this journal if you will pull out all those <laughs> tags and uh, embellishments that journal that book can be closed very nicely it's sitting very nicely flat here is another pocket here on the top another pocket is here and we've got there a large envelope i created so there are book pages uh parchment paper that uh you know used mail this came to me with some, uh, I think I ordered some uh, some stickers from China, I think, I'm, I'm not sure. So I just used that envelope which came with that and uh, placed it here on that parchment paper. So there is really a lot of pages for writing. And there are uh, used my envelopes which came with the, with the mail book pages i used for for uh, you know pockets and parchment paper writing paper decorative paper and it can be open like this so here is nice space for writing again that flip out pocket so this journal is really loaded with pockets but also with space for writing but <laughs> You can open it this way very easily because it has that uh, soft spine so it can be open very easily and you can write very easily but you have to have probably you have to have it on your knee sitting on the on your knee so so i hope i'm saying that right the, and therefore you can <laughs> then you can write something in it there is pocket from the top again pocket from here pages for writing that another necklace this beautiful lace another beautiful lace and space for writing here we've got pocket and i forgot to put there something another pocket is here another pocket is here writing pages another pocket is here so really so many pockets writing pages parchment paper and again openings beautiful decorative paper and again that flip up pocket writing pages and again we have pocket here from the top we have pocket here and in that pocket i do have this small which way small uh, mini notepad and uh, a sealed letter and there is some letter which i found so it's just copied and we have this pocket here and this triple it's like calendar this one from 1910 i think so it's in this pocket here And underneath is again one of these uh, forms which came to my uh, this was for one quiz bank some visa card i didn't want it so i use it here for my pockets and openings and again beautiful lace with some decoration here we've got another pocket i don't have anything inside but it's that see-through pocket and it can be open like this so here i'm guessing to glue some paper or fill that form <laughs> fully here we've got another space for maybe pictures or you know glue there some art writing spot another flip up uh, pocket opening this beautiful paper i like these papers and here we have another large envelope and this small envelope and pocket here as well so it's loaded with pockets and this decorative paper again book pages used as pockets with those tags 
parchment paper, writing paper with this beautiful lace. And this envelope came uh, in, in the gift box. Uh, I received this as a gift. I don't remember from who, I think from Carmen. I really don't remember from who I received this beautiful envelope. So I use it here and it's holding these are made like stickers. So they can be used here in this journal. Here we've got another pocket and writing pages. This beautiful lace. In this pocket I've got this library pocket. With these three forms. And these take a note cards, so they are ready to be decorated, you know, to use some stamps on it, stickers and sewing and do your craft, do your, do your amazing art. And again, writing pages, again, some decorative pocket, decorated pocket. I did my layouts, I used so many of my uh, dies to create this one. I'm gonna just slide it behind these. And here we've got an envelope with... Oh, I think I took another one. I think I took wrong one. Just bear with me. There should be uh, die cuts. Yeah, these are handmade envelopes. And inside are die cuts. All kind of die cuts. And they are uh, in that, you know, in that nature style. Uh, like wooden style. So they can be used to decorate this journal. And here inside in this envelope are like inside of cuts from this the, those die cuts <laughs> my explanation is nice i hope <laughs> so i'm gonna just clip it all together and again we have decorative paper with the lace again that flip out or flip up pocket And it can be open like this. And we have another small uh, mini journal with a pocket and with decorative pages. Oops, sit, sit, sit. And here in the end, we do have opening and opening. And it does have pocket here. It does have pocket here. It does have beautiful pocket here and pocket from this side. I need to hold it this way. And inside we do have small holder for these paper clips. So they can be... Um, how I made it? This I made really long. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here it's it's like a back. Okay. So I'm going to slide it back. Eh, shoot. Go there. Go there, go there. Okay, and it can be closed this way. See, I don't even remember because <laughs> it's a long time ago when I made this one. Slide it back and put it to that pocket here. Another mini pocket is here. I should place there something. So we've got writing pages. And another bunch of pockets is here. So we've got this decorative pocket here. We've got a pocket behind, small one. And we do have opening here. It's like, you know, that uh, extendable pocket with small mini, uh, those, not acetate, uh, those glossing bags, uh, glossing envelopes. The glossing bags, I guess. These mini ones. So it's in this pocket here. And that's the end of my book. So there is a lot of things. It's quite thick, chunky. And I have to say, when I pull it out, oh yeah, we do have pocket here from this side. So something can be slide behind and pocket here from the top. Large pocket here from the top. So, the, when I pulled out this journal, I was quite surprised <laughs> how big it is. Once I start to put those, uh, you know, tags and uh, those uh, flowers inside. 
and uh, I'm really glad I did this one a long time ago. I think I need to pull out all my laces. I haven't used them for very, very long time and I do have quite lots of them. Those from my mum, those beautiful vintage laces. So I think it's time to use them again. I just added, you know, those embellishments which I made not long time ago and these bags. I made not long time ago <laughs> and here on the top those flowers <laughs> I just didn't know how to <laughs> how to decorate it so I used flowers <laughs> they are always beautiful so this is my chunky lace uh, I, I'm not sure how I will call this one because it it can be sitting this way you know like book like my usual style this this is like <laughs> all the time open so i'm guessing it's more like that's you know that holder maybe which we are making sometimes from books so you can slide something and leave it on your table this way <laughs> so this is my sharing for today i hope you did enjoy it even it wasn't a tutorial i hope you found some inspiration thank you so so much for spending your time with me today thank you so much for visiting me today have a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye